Welcome everybody to Scion. My name is Jack Hollis. I'm the Vice President of Scion and welcome to the single best time of your day today, right? So what we're really here about today, what we get a chance to talk about is excitement around IQ. IQ is Scion's new car, expanding our brand from three vehicles to four vehicles. Totally fun when it's straight stock. But we're not here about stock, we're here about tuning. We have three contestants today on the Scion Tuner Challenge. It is my uh, honor and my privilege to be able to introduce them to you, but I'm gonna let them tell you a little bit about their creation. Uh, no doubt Scion did an awesome job with the 2012 IQ, so there's a lot of creativity and innovations to it. So as an automotive artist, that inspired me to take that creativity to the next level. Building a, a car, the ultimate city car with, while retaining the fuel efficiency and the functionality of the whole build. My name is John Sabal. I'm a comic book artist and an automotive artist. Obviously the car is a race inspired vehicle. Um, we wanted to create something that's unique and one off. So the uh, coolest, coolest part about the car is that we actually made the whole body kit by ourselves in-house. So it's, it's unique and I think it really stands out. I'm Mike Chang, and I'm the co-founder of Evasive Motorsports. This car is a uh, bare-bones MR conversion. We put the 06 XB motor in the rear, hand-welded and um, English-wheeled fenders. Um, yeah, we, we, we did this all in two and a half months. I'm Tatsu Shida. My father and I own Tokyo Automotive. Gentlemen, if you will join me back over here, that'd be great. So we have our third place finisher. Give out the third place gift to Mr. Tatsu. Tatsu, come on up. So second place is Mr. Michael Chang. Michael, come on up, buddy. So it goes without saying that the first place winner of the 2011 Scion Tuner Challenge is Mr. John C. Ball. Give it up for John! Oh, buddy! Tuna, the Scion Tuner Challenge felt really great. Um, the whole team uh, came through and uh, it was something that we set from the very beginning and we're just happy that everything worked out. Looking back at this whole experience, I thought it was a very good experience. We learned a lot. Um, Learn to mature a little bit in handling all the uh, stress in uh, building the car, but I think I would leave it to the professionals to really take on the next project. <laughs> the one advice I can give to any uh, future builders for the next uh, Tuner Challenge would be just to enjoy the whole moment. Uh, with the ups and downs that you guys will go through, It'll go by really fast, and before you know it, it's done, and you just have to kind of take in every single moment, whether it's good or bad, and learn from it, and uh, appreciate all the people that, you know, helped you out all through out the build, and um, yeah, and then, then don't worry so much. <laughs> you know, I, I was so stressed out towards the end, and but like Mike said, it, it'll all work out, and, and it did. <laughs> 